Now that we've done the scaling of the focus axis so the motor is correctly turning the lens, we need to fill in the other boxes on this lens setup in order to know exactly where the camera is so correct measurements can be taken. The first ones we're going to fill in are the nodal offsets. When you're in the cinema, sitting in your seat, your eyeball is at the nodal point of the camera. The nodal point in this example is not necessarily on the film plane of the camera. It's not necessarily in the body of the camera. It's usually at the nodal point of the lens. This is the point where your eyeball sits in the cinema. The nodal point is most often with a prime lens near the iris ring. We don't know exactly where it is at the moment. We can prove later exactly where it is. Initially, we're going to guess that the nodal point is on the axis of the lens and somewhere near the iris ring. For this reason, we can now take measurements of where that guest nodal point is in order to tell Flair exactly where it is with respect to this point. Because the measurement of this point is what we are doing in order to tell us where this is. Because we are working here with a bolt standalone, our camera is top mounted. This specifies exactly what becomes X, Y, and Z nodal offsets. With a top mounted camera, this is X, this is Z. If I had a Milo with a rear mounted camera, this would be X, that would be Z. Our first measurement is of the X nodal offset here. Our X nodal offset is this distance. It's the distance from this point on the knuckle down to the level of the lens. Here, I'm measuring it as 25 centimeters. So I can now put that measurement into my X nodal offset. Of course, here which we're working in meters, so that's 0 0.25. My Y nodal offset is a measurement across my lens. In this particular case, my lens is centered on the center of this axis because the camera has been centrally mounted. So my Y nodal offset is zero. And that is the figure I can put in here. My Z nodal offset I'm looking at a point somewhere here. So I need to know the distance here to the center of my tilt from that point to there, which I'm taking as 10 centimeters. So I can put 0 0.1 meters there. So I've now put in my nodal offsets for these, for this particular nodal point. This measurement is still a guess, but later I will prove exactly where it is. There are other measurements I need to take too. My measure offset is the distance from my measure hook to the film plane. My measure hook 
is the point I hang my tape measure on when I'm measuring a target. When I am measuring a target, I will put my tape measure on the measure hook there and measure. But I need to know where the measure hook is with respect to the film plane. In this case, the measure hook is on the film plane. So therefore, my measure offset is zero. The next thing I need to know is where is my measure hook with respect to the center of the tilt. This will vary according to how I mount my camera. But here, I'm looking at two and a half centimeters as being the measurement from my measure hook to the center of my tilt. Therefore, I can put this figure in my measure optical offset. 0 0.025. This set of measurements defines where my nodal point, where my measure hook, and the other factors involved are in order to define for flare exactly where my camera is and take extra accurate measurements. I'm now going to save, apply. That is a completed lens setup. Now, in my setup menu, I have a lens setup, ARRI Ultra Prime 50 millimeter. If I take that and save, apply, the customized focus information there is written into my focus and my focus is set up and when I measure my targets I know exactly where my lens is and where my target point is. This has been a Mark Roberts motion control training video. Thank you for watching.